Generation. Ho oh, ho! Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that isn't afraid to make things spoopy sometimes. Oh, my name is Mitch, or Melaton, or Skelamitch. My name doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is the Half Life community news. So without further ado, let's get started. The first item on our list of spooky, not so spooky news items is totally Black Mesa related. In fact, it's an entire progression update. Wowie! This is arguably even better than candy on Halloween. Apart from announcing that Black Mesa is now 40% off because of the Halloween sale, they also let everyone know how far they currently are from completing the entire game. And as it turns out, they only have to art pass five more maps before they are completed. Just five more. Last but not least, they let us know where their priorities priorities lie at the moment. They're really busy trying to make sure that Interloper and the Healanth and Endgame are as well polished as they can be. Aside from that, they're also busy squishing some bugs related to Zen and Interloper based on community feedback. Good stuff. If you want to read this news article for yourself, I've left you a trick or treat bag with a link to this article in the description below. I name dropped it already in the previous segment, but yes, it's true. The Steam Halloween sale is currently happening and oh boy, there are some good deals amongst them. Like Dead by Daylight for 10 bucks, Prey for 15 bucks, and gosh darn Left 4 Dead 2 for a measly 1 euro and 60 cents. I mean, if you still don't have Left 4 Dead 2, now is definitely the time to get it, man. Jeez. The sale lasts until November 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to have done your game shop by them. Who would have thought we would ever see Half-Life with RTX support? Well, honestly, I think Nvidia is bound to budge at some point. I mean, Half-Life is quite influential, so why wouldn't they try to give it an RTX makeover? Anyway, we don't technically have to wait for Nvidia to step in because community member Vector has done the work for them. Well, they took the work NVIDIA did and made it compatible with Half-Life. Based on Quake 2 RTX, Half-Life RTX has all the features the base Q2 RTX has, but then with the Half-Life canyons and Black Mesa's linoleum floors. It looks really good and I really hope that NVIDIA will do this at some point. Or Valve, or the community, whoever comes first. This Half-Life RTX demo is just that, a demo. It's not actually in a working, playable state, and according to the video's description, Vector is not planning on finishing it up either. What a shame. Oh well, again, there's a good chance Nvidia will step in and give us the Half-Life RTX we really, really want. In the meantime though, I've dropped a link to Vector's video in your trick-or-treat bag. Continuing the trend of releasing media updates near Halloween, Keep Away From Fire has released a mini media update regarding Boreal Alith in the form of a handy dandy YouTube video you can watch and enjoy right now. Let's go over it. In the video they show off some models, concept art and work in progress shots of the maps they're currently working on for the game. Man, the graphical fidelity of Boreal Alif never ceased to amaze me. The thing that really caught my attention though was that ending shot. Look at how freaking good that looks. Like, is that Source Filmmaker or something or is that an actual in-engine capture of one of the animations someone does? It looks almost like something that Rockstar would do. Really amazing work on that one. Last but not least, they're also looking for people to join the team. So if you think you got what it takes to be a level designer, 3D modeler, concept artist, or to be part of the PR team, there's a link to the application form in that video's description. Now, if you want to see this video for yourself, and I highly recommend that you do that, I've dropped a link to it in your trick-or-treat bag. Don't consume it too much or you'll get cavities. Alright, so something just released into public beta. It's Lambda Fortress Extended, a mod that combines Team Fortress 2 with Half-Life. Yes, you heard that right. You can now play the Team Fortress 2 classes inside of Half-Life Source, Half-Life 2, and the episodes. Now, there was a similar mod being made, even under nearly the same name, being called Lambda Fortress. However, the original developer of the mod, Nick9, has most likely shelved it because updates to the mod fell flat. So now a new modder has taken over and is now making some people's dream reality, with even more functions than the original mod promised. What a hoot. Now, if you want to play this mod for yourself, it's currently in public beta. All you have to do is to click the link in your trick-or-treat bag below and then read the install instructions. Have fun double jumping around like a madman. Half-Life A Place in the West has released a brand new comic last month. And no, it's technically not really a new part. 
it's a prologue. This prologue is meant to help readers get into the Half-Life universe as well as bridging the gap between the original canon Half-Life universe with the place in the West universe. You know what's the best part though? It's completely free to read, and I've put it in your trick-or-treat bag below. How kind of me, right? Oh, and one final note, they're remaking Chapter 1 as well so that it's up to snuff with the rest of the comic series. All the more reasons to start getting into it. Or to get sucked back into it. Everybody likes to roleplay sometimes, and what else can make roleplay even better than a giant hacking map to explore? Currently life on the Monolith Gmod roleplay server is a map called Monoford, which is a map that can support over 100 players playing in it at once. Over 100. That's absolutely massive, and the map itself reflects that. There is so much to do and discover, and there is so much detail scattered around that I'm even kind of wondering how the hell it was even done in Source. Now, in your little trick-or-treat baggie, I've put a video showing off Monofort and its many locations, and a trailer from Monolith parodying Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Damn, it's really well made, actually. Happy role-playing! Artists, take note. The DeviantArt Orange Box group is hosting a Valve slash Half-Life themed art competition with a science fiction theme. The Dream of a Nebula contest runs from right now until December 26th. Your submissions need to feature a Valve property, however, crossovers are allowed. Hmm, maybe then we can have a Cloverfield Half-Life crossover. Hmm... More rules and conditions can be found by clicking the link in your Trick or Treat baggie. Good luck to all artists wishing to participate. You know what you should also participate in? Joining our social media, of course. All of it can be found down below in your trick-or-treat bag. Join us on Discord as well, because there we can continue the conversation. Do you like me? Well, I don't blame you. I like me too. Follow me on Twitter. That can also be found down below in the trick-or-treat bag. I tell you, it's worth it. And with that, I'm going to end this episode of All Things Lambda. I'll be seeing you guys next week. But in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon to never miss another episode. Salutations and happy Halloween. <laughs> ah, ah.